Hi everyone, this video is going to be a little different. I've been setting up a studio area here in order to create some different content. And today I'll be unboxing a few items I purchased for the channel to help improve the quality a bit. Okay, so this is my, my first unboxing video. I've never done an unboxing. I've spent some time to, to, to set up the studio. I'll, I'll try and explain um, I was really supposed to just set up the studio for an unboxing, but the amount of t the amount of work that I actually put into uh, the whole studio it, it kind of made me think like, well, you know, I could I could use this space to do more videos in, in the future, maybe something different, um, and you'll hear more about that at the end of this video. Okay, so. Let's get right to it. Actually, I've been waiting um, just about two and a half weeks to open this box. I have not actually opened it. Uh, so, it, it's, um, I haven't, I, you know, sometimes you, you might get tempted to have a little look in, inside the, uh, the, the package just to make sure everything is there. And, but now, this is... I have not opened this yet, I don't know. Uh, so, let's have a look. Right, we can get, we can get rid of that. I'll put that over here. Now, what have we got in here? So just a couple of things. Uh, one of them is a, a light. It's a light for the gimbal. Um, I noticed that a couple of times I was going into darker areas and I would notice that I would I needed a little bit more light on my face and so the next thing we got here is it's it's really it's nothing it's nothing like really super amazing. It's just a couple of tripod mounts. Actually these are really nice. I, I didn't I actually bought some others a little while ago. I hope that's not too loud. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, I brought a couple of these not not long ago, and, and they were really, they were really bad. I mean, the, these are nice. See, they're, they're solid and big. Feel, feel really quality. Now the next thing is little uh, wind protectors. These are for the lapel mic when I go out and it's quite windy. The last video I tried to make it was the wind. I just, I couldn't, I was very limited by when, when I could, when I could film and the, I had to wait for wind to stop. And then it was, it was really hard. So I got these to try and help with that. That means if it's windy, it doesn't matter. You know, I can still record my voice. This one here, I, oh, I see, this is, this is something from Small Rig. Yeah, that's right, I, I know, I think I know. So, oh, that's really nice, that's really cool. I can use this to mount the light to my gimbal. Now I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Actually no, I'll show you right now. Okay, so this is the gimbal that I use when I'm making videos. I just realized I've got I've got that upside down. Try and fix that real quick. Yeah, so so my idea was this is quite difficult to explain. So I've, I've made this other, uh, this, this little piece of wood with a, a, th a quarter inch bolt screwed into the top. So I have to DIY quite a lot of things here. So my idea for this was to screw it in here and then that will give me some more uh, leverage so you don't see my arm. Because someone pointed out to me that I was... Um, holding my camera like this and they could see my arm and I was like they uh, they said 
you should try and do like a selfie stick type thing when I'm the idea behind this is that I would screw that into here into the side because it, it comes with a quarter inch uh, mount on the side there actually let me take this off so we don't actually need that right now and then let's see if my idea was uh, is, is actually going to work so let's uh you Lanzi. that's that's the name of the light uh, it's it's an RGB light. I haven't ever seen one before, so here we go. But I obviously I looked up some reviews and stuff. So how do we turn it on? I guess that's. Oh wow! Look how cool that looks. Oh, that's really cool. And apparently you've got. Oh, I see that. That's the temperature. So you can change the, the temperature of the light. Oh, that's neat. I've never actually, to be honest with you, I've never actually uh, played with a proper RGB light before. So this is really cool and interesting. Now, so what I'll do is I'll try and I'll turn that off. And so you'll notice that there's some uh, tripod mounts right in here. Let me put that to the side. I should theoretically. Uh, this is probably not the 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 best usage of the the small rig mount, but I think that's um that's sort of what I was going for there. So I can obviously I wouldn't have it on that color. I would go for um around. Oh, no. Something around, um, to go higher. Oh, no, no, I go lower, yeah. Like that. No. Well, I'd have to work it out. Let's turn this off, and we'll explain a little bit more about what I've got here. Now, as you know, I, I do some DIY. I've made this here, and also... Um, the last video I made, I noticed that the sun was actually getting into the lens and causing a lot of uh, uh, f flickering. So what I made was this lens hood here. Um, and that just goes on the front like that. And I, I'm absolutely aware of how ridiculous this looks. In fact, it almost kind of looks like one of those old telephone um, mouthpieces. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. No, no, I, I'm, I'm making a video now. Uh, can you call me back? Speaking of uh, lens hoods, let me show you another DIY project I've worked on. Okay, so this is another lens hood I made. It was quite hard to make. It's not as nice as the other one. So, you know, I know what you're thinking. That looks like the most DIY lens hood possible. I mean, we have a bottle cap. We've got some leather and some elastic and it's all sort of just super glued together. The reason I had to make the elastic is so that because on the front of the camera that I use this for there's a taper on the lens so when I put this on it just pops off halfway through. Now the good thing is is that you don't have to see this DIY item in the videos that I make. Only the footage that it creates like this majestic stabilized beauty okay so let's have a look and see if i bought the right sized wind protectors for my for my little mic i actually brought this microphone from amazon and it's a mosso mosso tech actually a really incredible quality 
Um, the last few videos I've made when I go to the waterfalls, or actually the most recent waterfall video, I'm using this microphone for that, for the audio, and it's really nice. Like it's, it's really good. Um, so. That's elastic, so you do actually have to put a bit of force over it, I guess. Oh, yeah, there we go, look. So, uh, I don't know, it doesn't really seem like it goes right down to the, to that little area there. Um, wind still, might still be able to get in there, but I don't know. I'll have to test it. That's that there. Actually... While I was waiting to to make this video, I actually um, I received another package in the mail, and this one's from AliExpress. And what this is for is a if I'll, I'll open it up here. Okay, nice. Got aluminum here. There's a a larger. I think it's a it's bigger than a quarter inch thread. It's the other one. I'll, I'll put it on the screen now. And there's the quarter inch thread. So what I got this for is for sound dampening. Here we have my Tascam DR100 Mark III. It's actually an incredibly sensitive microphone. I'll be making some videos uh, shortly showing, um, showing what we can do with it. Um, I might, I'll record some, some ambience maybe some some forest noises and birds stuff like that the only thing is is that when it's on even just touching it's so incredibly sensitive that even just touching it like that you you hear that it's it's like so what i got was this microphone shock mount a movo i got this from amazon as well so what i can do is screw this into here and then I can screw the test cam onto the shock mount and what I'm hoping is that I won't get any vibrations or touch noises while I'm using the test cam recorder very cool so now I'd like to share a channel update in the next few videos I'll be doing some restoration of older technology also eventually I want to have two different series on this channel, one being practical content where I will go out and visit a scenic area and show you what I'm doing to capture the content. And the other would be technology and this would encompass all technology, whether it be old or new. I really look forward to seeing where this channel will end up and I hope you'll stick around for the journey too. So this brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. This helps me out a lot. Thank you to all my current subscribers. You're all wonderful people. If this video was new to you, feel free to subscribe. I have more great content on the way. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed my first ever unboxing. Um, I tried to make it a little bit more entertaining than, um, than usual, I guess. I don't know. Thank you.